A bipartisan House committee is probing the Chinese Communist Party's role in the deadly fentanyl crisis. Yeah, they found that the CCP is directly subsidizing the making and exporting of fentanyl in China, all as the CCP also holds ownership interests in several companies tied to drug trafficking. And Virginia Congressman Rob Whitman is a vice chairman on the House Select Committee on the CCP and sits on the House Armed Services Committee as well. And he joins us now. Uh, Congressman, good morning to you. Uh, these shockings are finding. And it sounds like what you found is that uh, China is giving financial perks to companies who make fentanyl with the express purpose of addicting or killing Americans. Is that a safe summary of what you found? Carly, it is. It's sobering and staggering what we see in this report. We see that the PRC nationals are selling fentanyl directly online. Uh, the CCP is essentially uh, formulating and fostering and supporting on Amazon for fentanyl sales. Uh, the CCP is providing direct tax rebates and grants to companies that produce fentanyl, fentanyl precursors, fentanyl derivatives. And they know what the outcome of this is. They know that this is leading to the deaths of Americans. And the staggering statistic is last year, reported fentanyl poisoning deaths in China were zero. In the United States, over 76,000. They are leading to directly the deaths of Americans. And we look at things that are happening on the military side. This is a direct assault on America. This is directly killing Americans. There was a DEA agent who testified on Capitol Hill, said a lot of the same that you just did, really trying to emphasize that, to your point, this is a national security threat. So if the feds know about this and Joe Biden is at the head of the feds, where's the Biden administration? Shouldn't they have stopped this by now? Absolutely. They need to be aggressively putting in place sanctions against Chinese companies that are selling uh, these, these products in the United States. Fentanyl kills people. They know that. They ought to be putting sanctions directly on companies that are doing that. There are many companies that sell fentanyl and other products in the United States. There has to be severe economic penalties against China, against CCP companies that are selling these products in the United States. Okay, so there's also these findings that a Chinese pharmaceutical company, it, WUXI, Wuji Aptech, which is based in Massachusetts, Delaware, and California, they do work that helps create uh, cancer and cystic fibrosis medication. But Congress has found out that the company um, is creating uh, this genetic information database on Americans. What can you tell us about this? It's, it's uh, astounding. Wuji Aptech is gathering genetic information on Americans, not to develop uh, treatments for cancers and, and other conditions. They are doing that specifically to build a database for the Chinese military. Why? To use it to their advantage when it comes to having military capability to go after Americans. I mean, there's all kinds of biological implications about having this genetic information. We have to completely disconnect this. There is no way that any sort of a firm connected to the CCP should have access to any genetic information from Americans. The fear is that they would bioengineer a weapon that somehow, based upon genetic markers is able to target Americans while allowing Chinese individuals to live. That is wild technology. Yeah. That's sci-fi stuff. Quickly, in yes. 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. This is not happening in Wuhan and Beijing. These labs are on American soil. 10 seconds to you. Why haven't we shut them down yet? We need to shut them down, clearly. Do it tomorrow, today. Yeah. Well, this is why uh, Christopher Wray calls China the greatest long-term threat to our nation. The country is playing a long game here, and uh, we are unfortunately going along for the ride right now. Congressman Whitman, uh, very interesting, scary findings scary, as well. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.